faces her own. And out come fangs, claws, shrunken heads, and all sorts of scary things. Hey, hey, hey. Dr. Brazango. Yes. Aloha. Aloha. What was your line? Tell me your line. Now you can be part of the action with the coolest place set in town. The coolest place set in town. That's what it was. Yeah, and when he was saying that, earlier, was just, I was thinking, how come my wife never talks to me like that? <laughs> I'm never part of the action. Lame. <laughs> and there's no place set in my, in my bedroom. <laughs> Because you're married. I know. That's what it is. <laughs> All right. How are you guys feeling? Wonderful. So for our listeners out there that don't know, we're actually behind the scenes right now for the new Jason Lee and the Riptides music video. Fright Factory. <laughs> I think Dr. Fright Factory. I think Dr. Bazanko is... Bazanko. Bazanko? Bazango. Bazango is having an episode. It's a minor twitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's got something in his teeth. <laughs> So someone we're filming this awesome new video where I guess it's should we talk about the concept? Well, by the time this comes out, this is coming out the same time that the video is being released. So let's talk about the concept of the video. So uh, it's a playset, and we have miniaturized versions of Jason Lee and the Riptides and some of the characters, the fans and and attendees that go to his shows and enjoy his music. I've been selling this playset since 1964. Dr. Bazango's old. Very old. Timeless. <laughs> <laughs> and so, unfortunately for me, I don't get to be one of the life-size creatures, so I asked for a little brown guy in the toy set. So, they're, they're painting a little brown guy with a Hawaiian shirt right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah, I told him, uh, uh, and, and, and I should have him paint a little wahini for me, huh? Yes, you yeah, should. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not? I gotta go out there and get get, get a bit of wahini out of that bag, and yeah. yeah, find the one with the big boobs. Not the one with the big boobs. Hey, who doesn't? <laughs> I think Todd was thrown off on that one. <laughs> so what's next? We have the dancers coming up next. How many scenes do we have in this video? Maybe we should hold on. Is that the director? Of art? The art director coming in? Hey. I'm gone. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm out of here. All right. Hey. Hey, Matt. Hey. Hello, I'm Matt. Hey, Gil. <laughs> nice <laughs> to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Hey, so, so tell us. Give us a little idea of what this video entails. So 
the idea is that a child uh, saw this playset when he was a, when he's a boy, and then finally scored it as a vintage playset in his I'm gonna say late 40s. Mm-hmm. You know, Al's crazy Al is kind of timeless, so he finally gets the set he wants, opens it, and uh, it's kind of a magical thing where anything he does to the set is actually happening alive as oh. well. So there's full size action and what goes on okay. on the play set. So that's the difference with the life size and the, the play set size. Right. Toys. Plus there's, um, and there's a secondary, there's a model of the go-go wagon, the 28 Dodge. Yeah. So he incorporates the Dodge into the play set too. Um, Jason came up with the whole concept and just laid, laid it on me. And then we started snowballing ideas so, <clears throat> so that everything will tie together. So I can already see what's going to happen after this thing is released. People are going to want some of these toys. Possibly. The, yeah. the weird thing is that um, the original commercial is uh, from, like I said, 1964. But we're looking at possibly doing more videos to where you're looking at a Back to the Future 8 type thing where everything's yeah, going to tie yeah. into everything. Fifth wall break stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. That's the yeah. plan. So what Matt is getting at is that this new CD actually has a concept and all of these videos are matching to that concept. Right. Correct. So they all kind of fit in together, and it's not necessarily like a continuous story that goes from one to the next. If, but yeah, not necessarily, but if you were to set, let's say we do a total of maybe four videos. Yeah. The first one being Mr. Moy's MASH. Or right, right. If you were to put, if you were to watch all four videos, you could watch them in any order, and they would, okay, all, that they makes would sense. all tie together that makes sense. in some way. All right, so this is kind of like, like when you watch Pulp Fiction, it doesn't start at the beginning of the story. It kind of starts somewhere in the middle. Correct. And if you were to watch any of those segments in whatever order that they released that movie, then it all still makes sense because it didn't start chronologically in the first place. Right. So like in the Dr. Bazongo set out there, I was looking at it and I noticed he's got a surfboard that says live in quotations from Goon Beach on it. Mm-hmm. And then I asked Jason about it and we started talking and the next video will pop possibly be goon beach and that's coincidentally where uh the gill monster the creature and the undead girl were from was from that beach party so they've reappeared in this commercial that i believe may have even been filmed at that beach we're not sure i want to talk about the gill monster and the undead girl gill from mission beach (laughs) he's from mission beach (laughs) or mission bay (laughs) oh mission bay okay uh so are there any like Gill babies or anything? Are we going to see like a little gill baby like from? Uh, Everyone keeps asking for a gill babies, but no, no gill babies. Well, now is the time to like get one of those rubber babies and dress up a, a gill baby, oh, right? I thought you were talking. Wouldn't about it be a real awesome? Gil baby. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rubber gill baby, of course. Yeah, that'll definitely yeah. be. That's definitely in the way easier. So way wait a second. Uh, Less do we, fun. Do we want to talk about real gill babies? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Undead is like she's she's like no no it's off, that's yeah off the undead right thing I don't know Dead if it's a gill, yeah is a yeah. gill baby even possible yeah <laughs> <laughs> so this mask what's the name of the mask is it oh just the Gillman 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 yeah. okay so Gillman yeah. just because of the more, gills, more gills on the side of the commonly known as creature from the black Lagoon. Yeah, yeah, but you had your own personality. Yeah, too, so. Yeah. so this mask, I remember seeing online in a photograph. Yes. Which I thought was cool. He's been photographed in numerous places. Tiki Oasis. Yeah. Yeah. False Idol. He gets around. Tower Should Bar. Gets around. Tower Bar. He gets around and there's no Gil Baby. No. <laughs> well, that we know of. Right. <laughs> that's right. Not yet. Check your local aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. But I, he was in the Mr. Moai's MASH video. And, you know, I was fortunate enough to be in that video as one of the, the uh, tiki heads. And bartender. And a bartender. That's right. I've, oh, I, I had a drink with you. Yeah. That's yes. right. Yeah. So bartended at False Idol. That was a, an honor. That was fun. And when I'm jumping around, I'm looking around, and then I see Mr. Gilman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Down at Tower Bar. And yeah, I was like, he there it. he is yeah. again. He's a good swimmer. He can go far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Mr. Gilman is pretty good. All the good. way up the San Diego River. He's a pretty good bartender, too. So here's what's what's kind Thank of you. awesome uh, is in the last video, I got to make 
drinks for Mr. Gilman, and now mm-hmm. it's he's returning the favor. Nice. Except he's doing the real deal this time because we faked it for the video. Oh, oh. Right. Bummer. Uh, fake it till you make it. Yeah, fake it till you make it. But then Did he's. Yeah, but he's yeah. making the good stuff. Uh, he's making the good stuff right now. Which Tandawai is really, Fruit Daiquiri. It's really good. Shout Thank out to you. our sponsor, Tandawai Rum. Thanks for making these. No problem. This is actually very good for a day like today. Yeah, it's warm. We're not, not going to brag that it's October 21st in Southern California and we're in the high 80s. Yeah, not really bragging. We're not really bragging. Nice brag. We're just, we're just stating, humble a, brag. stating a fact. <laughs> that's all. That's a super all. humble brag. How <laughs> awesome it is here. Trey, listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just for today, just for today. So, um, what's next? We have. What are these other scenes? We have so dancers. What's and coming have... up is uh, they got to do shots of the car with the Go Go Girls going down three ninety five. Going down the three ninety five. Oh, nice. Uh, we've got the the whole setup um, in the back that matches the the playset, so they can do all of the band playing plus people dancing. There's uh, coffin shots coming out of Bazongo's coffin, uh, Jason popping out of the coffin. There's a whole bunch of stuff. And then tomorrow uh, we'll be filming at my place all of the Crazy Owl playing with the diorama stuff. Very cool. So then they'll edit it all together. Very cool. And the coffin. Yeah. Did you make the coffin? So Crazy Al and I built the coffin for an ape show for Oasis. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was when we carried him out for the Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was a great performance. It was fun. So, yeah, so the coffin will be used uh, for this video, and then it'll be part of Dr. Bazongo's show, apparently. Oh, do we want to talk about that now? He said he's taking it. I don't know. I'm not going to argue with the guy. Okay. Do you know anything about that show? Is that a, a Dr. Bazongo thing? He I need said, to talk to I don't know. About Jason it? said something about he's doing some, almost like a variety show, like a 60, what he used to do. I don't know. He came out from Pennsylvania. The guy's a weirdo. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. You have to ask. I, okay. Ask Jason. Okay. Awesome. We'll see if we can get some more insight on that later. So in the meantime, what we're going to do is get back to our cocktails. We'll have a couple messages from our sponsors here. And then when we return, we'll talk to some of the ladies. Maybe if we can get some of the ladies. Yeah. I don't see why you wouldn't. Yeah. You're a good looking guy. You should be able to get the ladies in here. Oh, yeah. As the long as you're here now. We'll see what That's, we right. Can do. That's right. <laughs> We've got the Miss Undead here. Well, I mean, what I mean is like, uh, you know, his dancers, I guess. Yeah. What do we call them? Yeah. The rest of the crew. The rest the of go-go the crew. The go go girls. Yeah. yeah. And then the, the go go wagon turned out nice, which people will see. The, we stenciled the, we get the lettering on it. It says go go wagon that matches the model. Yeah. It's going to look really nice. Very I think, cool. I think it does overall, really it's a lot of great job, a lot of fun work. You know what I mean? And of course this podcast is being released the same day that the video is being released. So we're, we're obviously recording this during the making of the video. And so that's why we're talking this way. But if you haven't seen the video yet, go and check it out. Go to YouTube and type in uh, Fright Factory, Jason Lee and the Riptide's Fright Factory. And then listen to the podcast. And then listen to the podcast. <laughs> if you're listening to this first, then thank you. But go and check out the video so you know exactly what we're talking about because you're probably wondering, okay. Yeah, because I'm not even sure what we're talking about. This sounds crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How cool is this right. room, by the way? I yeah. I know. So This is where yeah, all Jason makes the magic. <laughs> no, and it's not the magic that you think that he makes. This is actually his audio room. We're right. in his studio. <laughs> not his bedroom. <laughs> so, yeah, we're sitting here, and I'm, I'm going to count how many guitars we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take your shoes off. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And I don't know if they'll have many cases or I don't know how, if, if there's anything in them or not. Yeah, but there's a bunch of cases. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, at least a dozen back this there. This room's like a vault. And there's though. guitars throughout the rest of the house, too. Yeah. Yeah, there's guitars there's everywhere. All these amps. And all these wow. great vintage amps, which we're actually using as a drinking table right now. <laughs> and uh, and yeah. everything else. A bunch of, uh, uh, I guess, like reverb and stuff in here. Tons of great Synthesizers equipment. and all kinds of cool stuff. So. So cool, yeah. It's an honor to be able to record in here. So, two year gonna... anniversary, by the way. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, Congratulations. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Two years today. So two years today, or two years ago today, we started recording. We recorded our very first podcast, and today is part of this celebration. So we're that's awesome. Honored to celebrate our it's two year really anniversary. Been two years already. It's been two years. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is. Yeah, we're getting into the terrible twos now. This is the part where it starts to suck. Oh, you're, 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 you're going to start getting bratty with us, are you? Thanks. Well, 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 come on. We, we just we haven't even had a good response to this right. yet. Yeah. You're telling us we start getting bratty because you're in your terrible twos. All right, so we're going to take a break. 
and we will be back. Thank Adios. you. Thank All right, you. cheers. If you have a product, service, or event that you'd like to bring attention to, we can help. Imagine hearing your ad in this spot, just like you're hearing this one right now. Sponsor an episode and get the exposure you deserve. For more information, go to DesertOasisRoom.com and click on Services. And we are back with the ladies. Aloha, ladies. Aloha. How's the pizza? <laughs> Amazing. As we're chewing. It's so buttery. So, <laughs> so we just got back inside from filming a segment outside in the cold. Yeah, it was pretty chilly. Is that a lot of fun? Tidbit nipply. Yep. Yeah, totally nipply. But you know, like it, it, the shots were awesome out there. And with the fog machine, it looked like a thriller scene. We got lost in the fog. Totally. I felt bad for Tony. Oh my gosh. Tony and okay. his Poor and his contacts. <laughs> yeah, so so Tony had to put in some white contacts for this really dramatic shot and he couldn't see anything. <laughs> no, I, I guess he just saw just white, right? And you're supposed to be able to yeah. see through this. Like white or gray? Like shadows. Everything was gray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I felt so bad for That'd him. That'd be scary. It's like being claustrophobic, but it's got to be. Yeah. So this is one of those things where you always wonder, God, what would it be like if I lost this sense? And he did for a minute there. And, I, you know, we were all joking about it and mm-hmm. we all kind of mm-hmm. playing around. But, but it's, yeah. it's got to be He's it's got to be really unnerving. Yeah, so, big time. Yeah, yeah. So you guys enjoying this shoot? Yeah, it's yeah. going pretty fast. Yeah, it's going yeah. pretty good. A lot right? of prep work, but... The actual shoot part is pretty fun and fast. So. Yeah. Should we yeah. explain what we look like right now? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Well, we have, um, we all have pizza in our hands. <laughs> we, do <have> pizza. <laughs> we do have pizza in our hands. We're chewing. It's not and part of the costume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, we've got day glow flower bikinis on and white go go boots, nude neon, fishnets, nude yeah. fishnets, big mm. hair, neon skeleton bones, bones, yeah. luscious lips. The Lots black lights, boning. yeah, the black lights <laughs> make the Bones. the paint, Bones. the day glow paint, look really awesome. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the day glow has yeah. been really fun to perform with lately. Like we've gotten really good responses from it. It's oh, really? Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Are people um, are they requesting uh, like specific styles when they see you guys, or are they? No, they're just no, kind of complimenting every time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just like to surprise people every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's we like cool. To switch it up, like we all love dressing up. Now, are there no characters of the dancers in the the playset? There, there are. are. There are. They're so <laughs> precious. Is there day glow on the, the characters? <laughs> no, on Jason there is, um, right? I did put neon paint on. Oh, okay. Ours, really? Like, oh, oh, that's cool. I don't know how it glows, but I hope it does. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And they are in dance poses. Yeah. I'm thinking that people are gonna want those playsets. I hope so. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be rad if we can make it happen. We need 3D Just printing. We should totally yeah. do that. Yeah. Who do we know? Stocking stuffers. Yeah, yeah who, who do we know, know out there? Do we know There's anybody out there that can do 3D printing printer. for us? Who works yeah. for Mattel? Uh, well, I think that yeah. there are businesses that will actually, if you go in, they'll scan you like a 360-degree oh. scan, mm-hmm. and then they will do a 3D print of you. So I don't know if it's like a color print. Like if it just prints it out and just, I, I guess it's plastic and then... You paint it or they paint it or something. I know how this podcast works. Make a comment. Tell us. Make a comment. <laughs> Come on, people. If you have a hookup, let us know. Share your resources yeah. with Tell us. We want to be action figures. Yeah. We already are. <laughs> and all of our action figures have make-believe, like, superpowers, yes. too. Yeah. yeah. So what I have, um, oh, what was it? <laughs> Don't mind a, that. There's a, that's, there's a werewolf. That's just in this normal. Werewolf. werewolf. There is again. <laughs> oh no. Uh, mine was super. Oh, what was it? Super swivel hip action. Wait, wait. Just first, tell everybody what the name of your action figure is. There's Michelle Del Rey. Michelle Del Rey. Yes. Okay, so there's no separate name. Well, they don't no, know everybody's it's just our voice. names. It's just our names. Okay. Oh, true. Yeah. It's true. Who, who they're talking to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that too. Yeah, so everybody knows. Yes. Okay, so. Michelle Del Rey. Michelle and then your superpower is super swip. Oh, what was it? <laughs> super S- swivel, swivel hip. Yeah. Action. Super swivel hip action. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is Judy Luck. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Mine's something about an uh, energizing wiggle. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. This is Madison Jane. We're working on my superpower, but so far <laughs> it's intergalactic. What was the? Uh, oh. It was Jibble a jobble. No, like, what was the, not holy gully. No. Holy gully. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Intergalactic holy gully. Yeah. Intergalactic holy gully. <laughs> you got it. And what about the guys? 
Does anybody have a kung fu grip? Uh, oh. No. Jason has a, a oh. super guitar grip. That's right. Super guitar grip. Okay. Uh-huh. Tony's. Tony's, Tony's the got um, the super power low, stance. Yeah, super, super low, low power, power stance. stance. Oh, so this is the low power uh-huh. stance. That's okay, why he so was like, super, yeah, super low. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good at that too, mm-hmm. man. He's like, yeah, he, he stretches right before he goes up, <laughs> goes up on stage. I don't no, know. Because he, he gets way whiskey. down there. Yeah, exactly. He drinks whiskey and just gets lower and lower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty that relaxes awesome. your muscles. Yeah. 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 That bottle's almost gone, actually. Yeah, yeah. so there was a bottle of... And it was rye, actually. Bowl of bourbon. Bowl yeah. Of, yeah, it was mm-hmm. so good. Actually, I put is a it straw gone, really? It. Yeah, I put a straw in it so I could Shut drink it. Shut up. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I man. Think most of it was drank by Tony while they were putting those yeah. contacts in his Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're almost done with the video. And this, this particular episode is being released the same day the video is being released. So, yeah, cool. Yeah, so everybody's going to get to hear what's happening behind the scenes. Is there anything you want to share with them about your experiences that's happening right now? Um, I've just been stuffing my face with pizza and cheese all day. (laughs) It's been a pretty great experience. That's what it's been for me today. So I've had, I don't even know how many drinks I've had. I think I've also had a beer. I've also had some of the rye. I've had the cheese. I had some cookies. I had some pizza. I had some brats. Mm -hmm. They were making us tiki drinks. Tiki drinks. And what else is that? What did we have? Daiquiris? Mm -hmm. The blackberry cheese. Oh, Oh, that was so good. And uh, what are the crackers that had the raisins in them? They're like little figs. That's from Trader Joe's, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, man. Can we have Trader Joe's sponsor us? Hey, so <laughs> Bring us shout totally. out to Trader Joe's. We love you forever. Mm-hmm. Totally, totally. Follow well, us on Instagram. Life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so before we wrap this up and we go into the next segment, let's get everybody your Instagrams if they want to follow you guys. Yeah, well, um, you can join or follow our group, which is Riptides a Go-Go. Um, and that has underscores between each thing, but it's Riptides a Go-Go on Instagram. Okay. And what's your personal one? And my personal one is Mishi Ogogo. And mine is My My Madison Jane. Okay. Mine is Judy underscore Luck. And there you go. So for all you listeners out there, if you want to see what these dancers are doing at all the shows, uh, follow Riptides of Go-Go and if, also follow their individual pages so that we can support them. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah for sure. It. Thanks for joining the podcast, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's get back to the grind. Get go back. Give me a piece of pizza. More yeah. pizza. All right. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by the Tiki Bar T-Shirt Club, where their monthly T-shirt designs pay tribute to a Polynesian bar or restaurant from days long past. Each design is available for a limited time and will never be produced again. For the collectors out there, be sure to check out their subscription program, where they offer a discounted 3, 6, or 12-month plan, or you can always buy shirts one at a time. For more information and to check out this month's shirt, visit TikiBarTshirtClub.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and we are here with the director, Arak Bernal. Aloha. Hola, hola, como están? How are you guys? And Iraq, Iraq is from Mexico, so that's where the Spanish is from. And, and uh, you know, like, he was a little bit nervous about getting on the podcast, but I, I think Iraq speaks perfect English. What do you think, Chippy? I think he does a great job. Perfect, I think right? he does a great perfect. job. He's, Thank a, you very much. He's, 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 he's even better with his English than he is behind the camera. So we're gonna, <laughs> there you go. We're gonna just, uh, I feel better right now. There you go, there you go. So we're going to set him at ease, you know, a couple more painkillers and he'll be, you know, he'll be... Speaking fluent. There you go. <laughs> now, if you guys saw the last video from Jason Lee and the Riptides, Mr. Boy's Mash, that was all a rock's work. He directed the video. He did the art production. Is that correct? Not really. I just did like the photography, like photography, directing, editing, and de- directing, editing. I mean, like the production. Jason and all of you guys work with that. But I mean, like, and this poor guy, he was he worked so hard that day, and we had to do so many different takes because there's so many people that were part of that particular shoot and i remember some of the problems taking pictures with flash yeah, on their really, phone it was really hard it yeah. took, i think it took us like maybe 15 hours i think right? 15 well, we hours, started at eight a long day and we finished like oh it was it one yeah maybe? it was it was late it was late in the evening yeah, yeah it, was it was really definitely hard. yeah and i i never talked to you about this but you know when we were doing the last video it was kind of like a gorilla shoot you know we started at eight o'clock in the morning outside and then we went to different locations all the time. So there must have been a lot of difficulty for you having to set up the lighting, having to yeah. figure out where it was. Because as 
we did the shots. It was all natural light, and so you had the okay, the sun's here, and you had to set up all that stuff. And you did a great job. Thank you, you really very much. It was really job. hard to be honest because usually I'm like the one man crew, but it was really good for you guys to help out. So it was really fun to be honest. Okay, yeah. Doing like a different stuff, really new stuff with Jason. It was really cool. And right now, I'm really excited to do like this video. Yeah. So we're on the second video now, and again, a rock's been brought back on because he's such an excellent talent yes. and. <laughs> Good, with a good vision and so how how different is this process from the last one I mean like uh, the terms like it, like the theme is like totally different like yeah. really low light stuff so I think that's like the theme pretty much like this Halloween stuff like yeah uh, like I don't know how to explain that but I mean like it's like for me uh, I think the lighting will be so different. Yeah. Because yeah. the thing is, uh, when when we shot like the first video, the place was the place was really small. Yeah. So I think I have like a, a like a big place right now for the performance mm -hmm. and to do like really good low light stuff. So pretty much that's what I'm looking for right now. Yeah. Like, but I think today might be a little bit of a challenge because I think we're gonna get some shots while the sun's setting, right? Or are we going to wait until the evening? Yeah, I'll wait that. until the evening. I'll wait till the evening, okay. Because I was going to say, if we're going to get it while the sun's setting, you can't really... Can't mess around. Yeah, yeah, you, you have to get it right the first time. Yeah. But if we're waiting till the evening, that should be... Well, that should Jason, be. Jason is... It's it's interesting for me coming in and just helping out with this, that Jason's got, he's got his shot list, he's got everything planned out, poor rocks running around, <laughs> and, <laughs> right, to, right. and Jason's running us around. But Jason's got everything planned out, timed out. So we're just, you know, we're just kind of stepping in. And, you know, he, okay, it's your turn. We yeah. go in there. And, okay, it's time to set up. Boop, it's going over there to do that. So. And fortunately for me, I was part of the last video. And so this time around, I'm really trying to stay out of a rock's way. Because I think last <laughs> time, I think, <laughs> I think I messed up a couple of times. At the bar last time, I think I got in the shot. Uh, well, I don't know if I so did you it. you weren't excited to be behind that bar, were you? <laughs> <laughs> like you were distracted. I just, you know, because he's working so hard. You know, he's a one-man show. Yeah. Right? One, one guy, he's doing everything. It was amazing to watch you work in the sense that, you know, the, just the quality of video you produced from what you had. I mean, I'm watching you, and you got that. It's like it looked like it was a, you know, an iPhone on steroids, <laughs> and you're filming this stuff. And some of the shots you got, like the shots we got over the Gilmans house with um, uh, Mr. Moy coming out of the hot rod, right. and it was just, I mean, it was great. And and stuff was working out so well. You're like, I think I want to do this, and let's yeah. do this. And all of a sudden, you, it, everything just came together. So you really did a great job. Thank I'm very, really, really it was impressive. hard. It was hard. I I can say this is that was like the hardest video I have ever <laughs> yeah. shot. Definitely. Oh, really? Because shooting in the yeah. sun is like really, it's like a pain in the ass. Very you harsh, don't see anything right? in like the yeah, monitor, yeah. so it's really hard. But I mean, it was worth it because it, it's really good for for real, right? Yeah, like to yeah. show that like I did this with those guys. Like it, it's so weird to see like this kind of stuff here. I mean, in TJ because I'm from TJ, so it's really hard to see like bands getting a lot of friends together. Uh, to shoot like the uh, video like with this production because it, it seems like we have like a big production to be honest okay it, it looks good but i mean like it's really hard for me to see that stuff in tj so that's why i'm really excited to shoot like this one Next and one. and what's awesome about having a rock be involved with this particular shoot is that this is right up his alley so for our listeners that don't know about your background can you tell them some of the work that you do I've been doing a lot of stuff, weird stuff, to be honest. I don't know <laughs> if I can talk this in a year, but I mean, I, I've shot a lot of videos. I think I uh, started shooting videos when I was like 13. Okay. Right now I'm 30, so I'm, I'm old. Yeah, well, <laughs> so no. <I> You're <laughs> younger than not, us. <laughs> younger than me. <laughs> but I mean, I started shooting videos, like getting money from them, like when I was like 17. Okay. So uh, I've been doing this for a long time. So I've shot maybe like 200 videos, music videos, even yeah. more. So that's a lot. But to be honest, most of those videos are performance. It's the same theme, the same concept. Okay. And I, at the beginning, I was like really happy to do those videos. But I mean, like right now, I'm getting tired of doing the same thing all over again. Okay. For me to do this video, it's like so different. Yeah, it's so different. Yeah, so it's I'm a like, lot of fun. Yeah, it's hard, but I mean, it's like so much fun. But you've also done work in the horror yeah, genre, Yeah, with right? TV, with yeah. I don't know if you know the company. I did like two shorts for them. So one's called uh, Tacos Humanos. Okay. Um, I think they're on their website. Or Tacos Hermanos? Is that what you Tacos Humanos. Oh, Humanos. You know, human tacos. Okay, I was going to say... 
Taco Brothers. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's it was funny because the thing is with the Crip TV uh, 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 shorts they they have there, they're like really serious stuff. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have like that funny thingy horror stuff. So at the end, I think it was we got like really good feedback for that video. Good, good. Yeah, the second one uh, wasn't that good to be honest. But I mean, like the first one was good. <laughs> good, good. So assuming that Jason's going to continue to do these videos, which I think he said he was going to do a couple more in this series, we're going to see you on the next two, right? I hope, I hope so. We hope I, so. I do too. I, hope so. I do too. Yeah. It's a good. We have a good. We have a good group of people who are here. I cannot stress. Uh, the camaraderie. Everybody comes here. Everybody's here on time. Everybody's given a hundred percent. It's always and, and it's fun. I can't it's imagine so anybody fun. else doing oh, the work that yeah. Iraq Bernal. Yeah, and doing. it has to. It, you know, and Jason and I had discussed that. You know, when you have the same director, it keeps the continuality. You yeah, know, the, it's a, the continuity. Continuity. Thank yeah. you so much. It keeps the continuity. Are you Mexican or what? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had. No, I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think that again, Iraq is the right guy for not only this project, but the next one and the next one after next that, one. and however many there's going to be in the series. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm so happy to see you here again, Iraq. Thank you very so, much. I'm glad that we get to do another video together, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of the day looks like. Yeah, me too. And me when too. the sun we got comes a few down, surprises. We're really going to start seeing yeah. what this. When the sun comes down, that's when. You know, what's the video is really going to come as, alive as the right. song as the song sends the you know, ghosts will start to materialize. So we'll go. see how things uh, spook up here at the Casa de Lee. De Lee, <laughs> de Jason Lee. Casa now, de Rock, is there a place where people can view your work on the internet? Yeah, uh, if you visit my website aragbernal dot com, okay, you can find you can see like my work there. Like you can email me from there and all that stuff. Okay, sounds good. So if you guys want to check out his work, check it out. You won't be disappointed, I guarantee it. Thank you very much. Right. Awesome. We're going to take another break, and we'll be back. Thanks, Adrian. All right, Let's cheers, see you everybody. All right, bye. This episode is brought to you in part by Steadfast Pomade. Steadfast Pomade is a strong-holding, medium-bodied, water-based styling product for men and women, which leaves your hair looking slick, neat, and shiny with a clean, fresh scent. Its unique formula allows you to easily restyle your hair throughout the day and washes out with ease. Steadfast Pomade is American-made and veteran-owned, available in original and anchor hold. Get yours today at SteadfastPomade.com. Tame the waves and keep it steadfast. This episode is sponsored by the Tiki Tea. Founded in 1961, the Tiki Tea is a family-owned and operated tropical drink bar practicing the lost art of exotic cocktail mixing. Come try their house specialty, the Ray's Mistake, a delicious concoction of botanic liqueurs, passion fruit, gin, and rum for only $6 on Wednesdays until 9 p.m. The Tiki Tea is located at 4427 Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California. For more information, check out their website, tiki-ti.com. The Tiki Tea, ground zero for tropical drinks okay folks we are back with the one and only jason lee ah aloha aloha man how much fun are we having today jason dude we are having a lot of fun uh it's for me it's nervous fun because this yeah. has been again like another another three months journey all coming into of course like one or two days of filming um probably a week's worth of filming in a short amount of time okay okay so we were explaining earlier to our listeners that this video is part of the whole concept of the album. So it's got the same look and feel uh, as what the music that is not only coming out, but we're, we're doing a whole set of matched videos. Yes, that's correct. So we, we originally decided to work with uh, our amazing director, Iraq Bernal. Yeah. Uh, from Mexico, he does a lot of horror. He writes for Crypt TV, as you've may have heard on some older podcasts of yours. And um, he just clicks perfectly with a personality. You know, you can throw in a raunchy joke here and there and yeah. get everybody laughing, and that's important. And the other important thing, uh, I think, as we talked about, uh, you know, in previous episodes, is that he's not entrenched in the tiki counterculture. And I think that's what's important, is that the Riptides always want to do something more a little more modern and not um, out of the box out of the box and yeah. we're we're not trying to ever come off like we're a band from the 60s we like it and that's kind of like the gasoline in the engine but that's not where the car goes right, right. and i think um that's really important so yeah this is 
and it's partially because of you, Adrian. It's your oh. fault that we're do- that that we're doing the second video because on when you did the re- when you did the behind the scenes of the last video, right. I heard that you and Chippy and the other guys were like, "Well, surely we're included." Yeah, we're and I be thought, on the and, one. and you know, and I think you know this that now I listen to your podcast on my bike every day when I train. And um, without being too selfish, I did listen to that. Uh, podcast about three or four times just to kind of hear things because I didn't know what yeah, you yeah. what kind of interviews you got and it's good to get feedback. So on that note, uh, I just said, you know what? Okay, this podcast is special and everyone involved has always committed their time without asking for you know for all this stuff and well, that's what's important. You know, it's it's not just the people that are involved here, but you know, our listeners. Everybody loves Jason Lee and the Riptides. You guys are so mm-hmm. entrenched in the community. Thanks. And the podcast mm-hmm. loves you. You know, you're you're one of our golden boys. We we, <laughs> we we are always so honored to do work with you, Jason. So I'm so happy to be here. I feel honored that you included me as part of this process. Yeah, of course. I thought of it as a, um, it all started when you know you and and, uh, and Matt and I sat down and and I laid down the gauntlet of who has the best Mexican food, right? Uh, in in California, and that's right, San Francisco, <laughs> and all you other Bay Area guys. Guys, your food is different, but that doesn't mean it's the best Mexican food Hey, man, food I'll stand around. behind you on that. Okay, I'll stand good. Yeah, for sure, man. San, yeah. Diego, San Diego Mexican food is the best Mexican food in the country. I'll, yeah. I'll say that. Yeah. yeah. And if you have any qualms, you can go back to uh, two years ago on a podcast <laughs> at the same time uh, the, of, of right. the year when, when I, Matt and I laid that gauntlet down. But uh, but to, t- to quickly you know end on that topic of the, the concept record, that's what it was, was that it was a three-year project and saying, okay, if we had the money, if we had the backing from the label, if I invested a lot of my time and money into making this what it really could be without any restrictions this is what the public is seeing they're yeah. seeing an album that's not a traditional surf album they're seeing an album that their parents will like and their kids will like and that's the idea and the idea is to paint the picture to songs that we believe should be music videos and bringing in the right people to deliver that message because again we're we are a surf band but we're not we we think we break out of that um mm-hmm. that realm and the beauty of it is that we can now again paint the picture of what we think it's supposed to feel like and sound like because we're not singing yeah yeah well you are doing something different than traditional surf so you've done shows with an, an orchestra yeah. and you're doing these music videos that i don't think anybody else has really done right you're so you're kind of breaking ground on this and again what's kind of cool is that these videos are all related to each other so what's exciting about that is that we've still got a couple more in front of us yes we do so it's because of your freaking podcast uh, <laughs> on uh, at, at johnny's place uh at the headhunter that you know it, it, it is i said it i opened my mouth and that's what i do i'm one of those guys i actually learned how to swim by getting thrown in uh, the deep end by uh, a friend's dad really yeah and it, and it's always kind of rung true with me like whoa i made it out i did really good yeah. uh you know and it's 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 without sounding too symbolic it's kind of a an interesting way to live by where you throw yourself in a deep end right, yeah um if you've ever bluffed somebody um, it's not a bad thing. It's just like saying, yeah, uh, I could do it. I yeah, could yeah, do it. Yeah. And you know what you're doing? You're, you're, you're holding yourself accountable. And when you post things online that says, big music video about to you know, release this date, you better freaking get the video done. Yeah, then. Yeah. And sometimes if you don't, you go, well, okay, a few hiccups happened and we'll, we'll, we'll get it better next time and we won't release it. But when you hold yourself publicly accountable now in the social media kind of world that we live in, uh, it can be a good thing. You can use sure, it as yeah, a positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and again, like... Um, I can never stress enough that uh, you. I I think uh, I was telling Chippy this that I think I have um, a good idea of who to bring in all the time and who and sometimes who you know we don't have to go crazy and that's the idea right. of this video is that we only have what with us today Adrian twelve people uh, if that I don't even think and we had a hundred on the last video oh, you know wow. with all the extras yeah, and yeah, everything yeah. if you counted how many times yeah. we drove around San Diego so the idea is you know what it's a shorter song it's only yeah. a two minute song okay I've written an intro. I've written an, an, an outro to it um, to give it a little more cinematic approach uh, and to kind of grow from the last video. But again, it connects. That's the beauty is that you should be able to watch our third video, you know, which we don't even know what we're doing yet, and then go back to the first one and go, oh, I see what they're right, doing. Right. This is like a two-year project. This is, And if you look at the, the date stamps on YouTube, it hopefully it should give you a cool idea of, of who this band is when you stumble upon us because you heard of another band. Yeah, yeah. Now... This particular video, what I love is the whole concept of this one 
with the the toys and all that kind of stuff, the playset, you know what's going to happen is people are going to want that playset. Yeah, we we've already heard uh, a few because I want one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what what originally happened was obviously all of us are artists in our own right with uh, Mr. Tiki head helping, and then you know Matt Reese. Um, now, when I asked him to come on board as the art director officially for our videos, that made a huge uh, difference. So that's like saying, yeah. again, okay, let's just sink some of our own money into this and see how far it can go. But then people start getting behind the scenes leaks going, wait a minute, is this going to be real? Are they really going to have their own toy line? And Mr. Tiki had like took it up to like number 11 last oh my week. God. And, and, oh and, my and, God. And you're in on all those emails. And it's yeah, like mind-blowing yeah. when – it's like when I think – I've done it. Like, I'm just a musician and a writer. And when I think, okay, I've created a toy that's really special. And then someone comes back in our group that just blows that out of the water. That's yeah. when it's like, oh, God, this could get real. And I was holding the packaging, and it's real. It's it real. is real. Like, the packaging for each of the figures is, <laughs> it's not just a printout from a color printer. It's real cardboard it's it's like really professionally printed, like the real deal. Yeah, it's card the real deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> With the, the awesome artwork on the front and the back. And all the figures, even the model car. I mean, yeah. it's real. I spent a month on the car uh, to the to the week. It's you know, like it's been a full four weeks every night on the car. Yeah, uh, you can't buy my you can't buy my nineteen twenty eight Dodge Brothers the way it's chopped and cut and everything. And it's a lot of Dremel bits yeah. and a lot of paint and a lot of you know what it is? It's a lot of Michael's coupons. Oh, it's yeah. a lot of <laughs> around Halloween you can get forty percent coupons right. to That's Michael's, right. and you can really save. Uh, and get on a budget by buying big ticket items at Michael's. But yeah, uh, yeah. again, going back on that, uh, this could get real. It's weird. We we don't know if there's a Kickstarter in our future for it, where then at least you're buying the, the figure, and then we can just at least break even on it or whatever we can do. We'll see uh, again, like how the video maybe inspires real life. Yeah, I think that's yeah. really special. If you can create different videos like we're trying to do in our subculture that's that can raise the level because that's how we work to be honest i think like especially matt and i mr tiki head my wife michelle the go-go girls like you know tony my founding member we're not competitive we just want everybody to do the best that they can yeah and so we feel like okay if we can do it right now like we're in a hotbed of just everything and we have the fans supporting us then screw it let's just do like the craziest shit we can do possible and then let's have other, no offense, but let's have other bands catch up. Let's have other bands step it up and find a director yeah. and not get their friend that's just coming out of you know college. And that's cool. But, you know, really think of these grand schemes for like six months yeah. and then do it yeah. in two days. Yeah. It's very fun. It's very scary. It's putting yourself out there and taking that risk. So, uh, which kudos to you guys. You Thanks. Know? And I yeah. so admire that. Um, this video is actually, it, so today when this video comes out, it is Halloween. And so this yeah. podcast is coming out in conjunction with the video. So for our listeners out there, again, if you have not seen the video, go to YouTube and type in Jason Lee and the Riptides Fright Factory. Or will it be on the website? Yeah, we'll put it on the website. We have JasonLeeGuitar.com. That's my the one that I do is like a writer slash follower kind of thing. So JasonLeeGuitar.com. Um, we have all of our like respective Instagrams. You can follow, you know, Riptides a Go Go. They're like our huge. There you go. You know, put. The, so someone's howling like a wolf now. Uh, it, this, this is what happens, though. We've converted my house. My wife, Michelle and I's house is is your and just just so that what the so the just so the viewers outside. just so the listeners know. Adrian, Adrian and I are sitting in my studio right now. Yeah, I told him in the last segment that it's such an honor to be here. We, we try to count all your guitars, but we, we lost count. This is just the tip. So that's the yeah, yeah. this is just the kind of the what I use for television uh, throughout the week. Yeah, you know. So awesome. so just so you know, yeah, that's this awesome. has been everything out of this studio with all the TV networks. But anywho, um, but going back. You know, um, I think without sounding too, you know, conceited or anything, that's not what it is. I think what it is is a lot of it is since I was a child, I had an over, you know, active imagination. Um, in the last few years, I've learned how to really um, execute. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, like the television jobs really helped me. I had a lot of big time producers that put time into me and said, hey, you don't need to waste your time with this. You don't need to talk to them. Um, fix this work on that yeah. and and I think that really helped me and going well wait a minute you know 
I we can do this. We can take this even bigger. We can. We don't have to be called a surf band. Yeah. We just do what we want to do. If I people don't it. like it, I totally they don't get like it. it. And you know what? They like it. Yeah. Like they just like it, yeah. and we get gigs. That's the bonus. Right? That's the so bonus. That's the bonus. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you know, just all the different shows, all the recent, all the crazy shows we've had. We've been to Guadalajara, and they know our music down there. And wherever we kind of seem to go now internationally, they they know the music, which is scary. Yeah. And and Mo. Uh, you know, Herms uh, connected us with Apple Music. So cool. So that was a huge thing. So yeah. I think that was the big difference when we got on Apple Music's. We, we're on both Apple Music's Tiki playlists, by the way. Very cool. So from the first album, um, and that's really special to us. You know, when it, when we can say like, oh hey, you know, yeah. this yeah. this thing you are familiar with though, if you don't know surf music, you know, you can go check out that. Yeah. And they get into it, but uh, but again, like it's so cool hearing everyone laughing in the in our living room. We're right having now. too much fun here. You know, I, <laughs> I always enjoy being a part of this process with you. So it's such an honor for me to have been yeah. invited today. So thank you very much again for our listeners out there. If you have not seen this video. Please go to Jason Lee's website. Check it out. If you enjoyed it, share a link and give us that hashtag, Jason Lee and the Riptides, hashtag Fright Factory. Everyone needs to see this video. This It's a, such a great concept, and we want to support our friends, Jason Lee and the Riptides. We love, the, we love these guys. They're such a great supporter of our podcast, so we want to return the favor of them. Woohoo! Uh, yeah. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween, everybody. Don't eat the apples with the razor blades in them. And uh, check it out. Check out Jason Lee and the Riptides online. And thanks again, Jason. Ooh, mahalo. Thank you, Adrian. Aloha. Yeah. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to leave a shout out, stop by our Facebook group page, Inside the Desert Oasis Room, or follow us on Instagram at Polynesian Pop. To listen to previous episodes or be featured in a future episode, go to DesertOasisRoom.com.